really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. Okay. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me. To Fuck you. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear <coughs> from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. I if know you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Asshole. As I told to climb. There's Molly. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, hmm. I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Yeah, sure. sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And suddenly we're best buds. Alright. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. <laughs> Good luck. Slow nodding. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Okay, now let's go talk to Clementine. <coughs> hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Who knows? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Which he is. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. Well, this conversation ended well. No, oh, she's gone. Clementine? Huh. Don't 
ไปค่อนสีขึ้นโอเค everybody's gone those fuckers leaving behind Clementine Clementine No, no, huh? No shit. Fuck is that? Is that a radio? Okay, fine, I'll walk on my fucking self, Lee, you lazy bastard. Pick it up then. Hello, shit in hell. Fucking jump scare walker. Asshole. Blood. No. 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Well, son of a bitch. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. Now all the shot go. No, no fucking way. Now, no all that shit I fucking fought through, this no got me. Gone. There's no chance she just wandered <laughs> off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. Indeed it is. We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. <laughs> All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. <laughs> so that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? <laughs> Surely. Just lead the way. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Hey. Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Good old Kenny. You, now hold on a minute. <coughs> You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. That's a point. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Ah, oh dear. 
I honestly don't think. Oh, ugh. I honestly don't think things can get any worse than this. All the food's gone. Which means either they're having a fucking move around or they've gone. And they've gone. <laughs> Shit. Where the hell are they? Not here. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. <coughs> no shit. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Well, that one well. Now what? No, hold on. Shit. There's a fuck ton of them. Oh, clam. Creepy. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Fuck you. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Okay. And... Motherfucker. Be continued. Episode five, no time left. That cliff angler. Did you kill the ball in the attic? You and seventy three percent of players killed him. Christ. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and fifty seven percent of players are rational and honest. Oh kind. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and forty seven percent of players really? Why? She's fucking more useful than like half the other characters. Bring the belt. <laughs> Did you let Ben Ford his death? You and forty five percent of players pulled him. I can understand that. I can understand leaving Ben to die. Do you be about to the group here and eight percent players show the bite? Yeah, that makes sense too. Alright. Who came with you? So thirteen percent had Omid, Crystal and Kenny, ten percent was just Ben, twelve percent was Ben and Kenny, sixteen percent which I was in, which had everybody, eleven percent with Omid and Krista, fourteen percent with Omid, Crystal and Ben, eighteen percent with just me and Kenny, and six percent <laughs> On Leon's own. I like to think I got the best out of that without having anybody with me. And that's the end of The Walking Dead, right in every corner, episode 4, so until episode 5, goodbye. <laughs>